Hello everybody and welcome to Operator Gaming Bros. Rick here and today we're gonna to be continuing our Fire Emblem Sacred Stones walkthrough. So let's do chapter two, the protected. Yeah, let's go. Yes, okay, sweet. So let's get started. Okay. So we're gonna go to the, the thing of I'd. But uh yeah, so me and Jake just got back from Nationals and we're really excited, really excited because we can film again. King Hayden apologizes for being able to spare any soldiers. That's cool, man. You gave me a couple. You're cool. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. Okay. That's cool, too. Erica's grateful for the king's aid. Ooh, we're going down. Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grotto. Sweet. The group's first stop is at a remote village of Eid, which was, until very recently, a part of Renius. But now Renius is destroyed. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Rennius with her own eyes. And she realizes just how screwed in the butt Rennius was, because they got completely murked. Destroyed. Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Rennius and pass through a scare. Seraphew. Into Grotto Terra. Sorry, I'm so bad at reading. I'm, I just apologize. Hmm, that would seem a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any runs in with Grotto soldiers. Whoa. Sass. Princess Erica. May I have your leave of the, to the scouts ahead? For this guy, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. Ah, <sighs> okay. We are yours to command, your highness. Will you give Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for the enemy. Bel Bowman, though, Vanessa. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad today. <sighs> yes, your highness, I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere, yes, quite. Ooh, band! Oh gosh, they're gonna get that village in like a turn. I could put Vanessa there, and but she'd probably get killed by the band. Hey, boss, we found more villages right for the picking. One, two, three. Ha ha! I love good war. With all these soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Funny thing about that: women aren't nailed down, so I guess they have us there. Dad, band is approaching. Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Let's start with that village over there. Get to it, boys. It's all yours. Got down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I've had you to run the mountains to the other villages. Wait, but bandits can... Can't they walk over? Oh, no, they sh Oh, they escaped, though. So it's cool. Yeah, but like, I thought the bandit unit could walk over mountains. Apparently, I was served wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing, just a scratch. You're a war you are a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk your life so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son. Well, how convenient. Ah, uh, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. Why didn't you stay over there? You could. Okay. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly to attract as little attention as possible. But, but I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how far are the villagers? I spotted one injured person who appeared to be just a child. Father Mulder, can you staff help him? Well, yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but... I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Okay, sensible. Princess, please, leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. Abduction. Alright, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. Okay, at least move me forward in a little bit. So I can probably... If I just move... Sec yeah, it's gonna take another turn, though. Okay, so let's just... Okay. Uh, the, the most wonderful man rescued me. He was just like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. Ooh, mercenary. I love mercenary units. They're my favorite unit by far. They're just, they're so awesome. Just their stats are really balanced, and I like that. So let me see what Eric can do. Let's get Erica. Well, I can always just go back to those villages with the paladin, so I think I'm just gonna have her move. Ooh, she doesn't have anything. 
She. Okay, let's just visit here then. I guess there's really nothing to do. Uh, I don't want to read those. They're not even good. It's just a bunch of villages are just like, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Okay. I got this. Okay. Okay, I think we're done with my turn. I'm gonna use Gilliam. Or am I gonna use. I forget if I was gonna use Gilliam in this playthrough. I don't think I will. I don't think I want to use him at all. Gilliam can go second. Go, Garcia. Oh. Oh, he missed, though. If he didn't miss, I was gonna. I was gonna praise him, but I'm afraid he's yet another failure. Who I will have to babysit. And that's how we get it done. Swag. Okay. Erica should probably recruit him, except for the fact that I boxed him in. Aren't I a genius? Oh lord. I just completely boxed in Ross. <laughs> oh, I'm such a genius. I think I'll follow the story and use Mulder to heal him. Just because I can. Problem. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's move Franz. Franz can do stuff, I guess. So yeah, we should probably send Franz down to the village. Or else that village will get murked. Uh, I don't know. I should, uh, I don't know. should I use him or should I not? Uh, I, I really don't want to use him. Uh, yeah, just go up in here. Just, just do that. Just... Just don't get in the way. Come on. Please. <laughs> okay, well luckily for me, Ross did... I was going to say luckily Ross didn't move, but... I was wrong. Hey, listen, my village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me out wipe these thugs out. Alright, just, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave this village to us. Oh, leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boys somewhere safe. No, wait, I'm going to fight too. What? My father's out there all alone, fighting those bandits. I've got something to do as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. Garcia? I don't know. As long as I have my axe, no, no bandit can ever, will ever defeat me. Oh, jeez. Alright, I can see you're not going to be swayed. But you must promise me you will stay close to us. Okay, cool. So I recruited him. And that's always a plus, because I like recruiting people. So should I use him to, uh, I should probably recruit Garcia. Crap. I really want to use him to attack, but I probably can't. Ah, <sighs> the sigh. I don't even want to read it. It's probably just like, Dad, Dad, help me. Trust me, I, I know which dialogue's worthy and which one's not. There is no worthy dialogue. Just remember that. Oh, crap. I really don't want to keep using that rapier too much. Probably, yeah, I'm probably just gonna. There's an army right below her, so I'm probably just gonna sell that uh, pearl. Wait, where those bandits come from? I wasn't paying attention. Where did they come from? Oh jeez. Okay. Well, they're on mountains, and then they're gonna get out of forest. So I guess I'll just put him in the forest, and hopefully they don't have. What I hope they. Oops, wrong one. Wrong button. My bad. Okay. Yeah, they only have iron axes probably. So I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool as a stool. Mm mm, a stool. Mm mm, a stool. I don't know, I was gonna send her to the armory. Ooh, it's so intense. Oh, it looks like I'm full. Ooh. Okay, just give me a second then. Never mind, take back the move. Uh, no, where's my paladin? Okay. Oh, jeez. I gave her that many vulnerabilities? I'm a pimp. I was like, this girl, she ain't gonna get injured no matter what, yo. And you know what? I stuck to it. Huh. I think if I... I think Mulder will be safe. So I just realized that I probably shouldn't send her in there with only 10 HP left. Huh. Okay. Let's go. Bring it, bring it forward.
Uh, no. Sell. There we go. Ming. You know what? I'll buy another sword. Cause I, I'm a, I'm a high roller. I can afford the crap. You know. So let me just make sure Mulder's not safe. Okay. Well, you know what? I believe Ross can take the hits. And that's my belief that Ross is a hit taker. Now his movement is what's going to make him hit him. So if I place him. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place him here. And then watch this. You ready? You ready for this? I'm going to take Garcia. I'm going to have him flee. And the reason I did that is because I accidentally selected Garcia. Instead of Mulder. Hashtag noob. Oh, this is painful to watch. Oh my gosh, the wins! Oh, Mulder. The wins. You win. I'm not a noob, I promise. I promise he won't ever be in harm's way ever again, considering the fact that I really don't even use healers in game. Like, if as long as it lets me pick my units, because I think there's going to be a couple more chapters, I really won't use healers at all, just because I'll eventually, I, I advance my mage users very fast, and then I just get them to use staves. Just because they can be on the front lines, and I really don't like light magic that uh, beginning stave wielders use so, so let's see that's some good exp for a little guy because ross ross right now he's pretty weak right but he becomes really strong later because what he is is he's like a uh, i don't know exactly how to call it but i call it like a pupil class and so what they do is they they're at like a really low level and they're really weak but if you get them to level like 10 or so what you can do is you can have them branch out into different units and since he's a journeyman, he can branch into either... I think he can become a fighter like Garcia, or he can become a pirate. And I remember his pirate class is extremely good, because you can branch it off to a berserker, and the berserker class is in fact amazing. I'll use my beginning paladin just because I can. Who cutthroat? Yeah, but I was filming earlier today. If, I mean, if you saw that I uh, had to restart the chapter, because I was filming earlier today, right? When all of a sudden, tornado sirens go off. So the first thing I do is, okay, well, crap. There's tornado sirens going off. I gotta get to the basement. So what does intelligent Ricky do? Oh no, he doesn't leave everything where it is or, you know, because he has to protect himself. No. Rick grabs his computer and runs in the basement and grabs like 40 other things along the way. Wait a minute, who, who are you? And so yeah, that's my, that's my story to why I had to do multiple takes. That's why, because I'm not going to lose on chapter 2, I guarantee you. <laughs> like right now, you think I'm cornered? Psh, Erica can tank this crap, just watch. I can't even hit the side of a barn. Like, I think I've got this. And Ross, Ross can tank it. Ross can tank the hits. As well. Because Ross is a tank, you know? I don't feel like people respect Ross enough. Like, I respect Ross. Because as soon as he becomes strong... I mean, they laugh at him now, but... Just wait, he becomes one of my favorite units in the game. You just wait. He will eat your children. That's how intense he is. Well, the problem is, I definitely don't want to end it right away. So there, you have to watch me noob this one out. Because I don't... The problem is I kill them too fast. Don't we all have this problem in Fire Emblem? Or is it just me that we just kill everything so fast? So that, that's my problem right now, is I just, I killed everything way too fast. So now I have to stall a turn just so I can get to the village in time. So I actually don't remember what that village gets me. I hope it gets me something really good, because I like villages. I will never leave one village to be destroyed besides that one village in the corner because there's nothing I can do. Err, blast. Ugh, I am such a lonely bandit. 
Let's see here, we got... Oh, that was actually pretty good. Level up. Nice job, Erica. Nice job. Ooh, Archie, you ain't gonna do crap. Look at you not doing crap. Yeah, so, you know. Luckily, I don't think it was a major tornado. It was just a little thing. But, uh, I don't think anyone's hurt. That's also pretty good. So, let's read this. Hmm? What is it? What's the, the ruckus? Oh, bandits. Spread the word, everyone. Close the village gates. Thank you for warning. Please accept the small token. Oh, pure water. Okay. I want to use this pure water. Pure water is for the weak. I drink wholehearted destructive water. Only men drink destructive water. Like, who needs it to be healthy when you can just destroy every organ you own with it? Yes, definitely gotta take out the archer. Or can I have someone else take out the archer? Oh, sweet Franz. Franz, man. It's Franz. Franz saved the day, man. Thanks, Franz. You saved the day yet again. I want a good day, citizen. Look at you, Franz. Level 2. My little calf. Shrank speed. Okay, not even mad. Yep, victory music. GG. Oh! Erica finished it off with a flash, girl. She finished it off with a flash. She just crit. She just crit. Okay. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Renius, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Rennies until about 10 years ago. When he was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Rennies. Master Garcia, you must know the peril of Homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Rennies once again? I don't know, Garcia was kind of weak. I'm sorry, I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I've made along. I made long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless and caring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the ch I met the child she had left behind. Oh. She maybe it was like childbirth. At that moment I finally realized why my depu my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised to her I would I would be the father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I have no regrets, I'm this boy's father. Ross, man, you're so cool. You, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross, if you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter, I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me, I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give up what you... You can't give that up and be happy. Sorry, I'm so bad today. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. Except I'm going to make you a pirate, Ross. You are free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross... You want to challenge me, father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of Ide. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad. Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. Oh, that's such an adorable moment. I've raised him as best as I could, but he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Oh, that's, that's a really... That's a really nice poem, man. I'm not crying. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna... Man. I'm a man. Okay, gotta read, gotta read. Thank you so much for your help. Please, stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, well. My... That is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you, my father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift, but you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Rennius is made, things have become so dangerous around here. There are good hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are Bazba's. Bazba. Bazba's bandits. 
As was ban- As was bandits. That is the most beautiful- that's the most beautiful name I've ever heard. Bazba's Bandits. Bazba. I'm gonna name my son Bazba. They are cool beyond words. It's all because he was named Bazba. He decided to kill everyone. If you have something they want, your life is worth more than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and oh, it was awful. I- I can't believe such things. Oh, Rennie says finished. Mark my words. The Grau Empire stole in our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephraim would prevail, but... Rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Kratos' vast numbers. He's so dead. These are dark days. Travel with care. Oh, well, you know, thanks thanks for that. That was really motivational. Your brother's dead. Every. Three years ago. It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though. Why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I don't like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet? <laughs> and yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I'd rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but... I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So, I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. And maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. So, uh, please, Ephraim. Alright, alright. How can I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well just give in. It's great, I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we're started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never! Oh, she was intense. She was getting into it. Oops, beg your pardon. Hey, he stole something, didn't he? Princess, are you all right? I yes, someone bumped into me, is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where's your bracelet? Oh, crap. He stole the bra- My bracelet, it's gone. Oh, my God. Where could it be? Did that man? I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That it was a gift from my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentally get in the way of my duty. No, Princess, we must retrieve your bracelet regardless of the cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. That bracelet's important, man. You gotta protect your bracelets here. Just remember that, ladies. If you lose your bracelets, we're gonna have to go after it. So it looks like we're gonna end this one here, guys. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. See you next time. Bye!